I had I've had a lot of therapy. I'm actually nearly four years sober, and for me, a lot of my twenties were spent doing a lot of drinking and not in a really positive way. And and really learning. I know in the song I say messing up my twenties, but I spent my twenties learning the hard way, and I intend to spend my thirties sort of reaping the benefits of knowing who I am now. Mm. I'm still so young. I know. You're it's still ridiculous. so young, Lucy. Oh, I my know. goodness. And we were like, seventh album? Really? She's got to seven one already. Yeah. It's an incredible achievement. Um, you are going to be heading out on tour in May, not long from now. This will be your first proper tour completely sober. So how has sobriety kind of affected the, de the day job? What's the impact been? I, I really enjoy it. I feel like my career has been made so much better by being sober because I feel so much more present. Um, and I feel like I can just really give the best kind of show that I can. And I know a lot of people think of sobriety as being something that would hold them back. But to me, it's a complete superpower and it's improved every single aspect of my life, including shows. Um, for this album, you've signed to Simon Cowell's record label. Mm. I think we all presume Simon's been on the X Factor the whole time. He wasn't even a judge when you were on the show. So how did you first meet Simon? So I, uh, my book, Process, is coming out um, in July, and I met Simon because when I was writing that book, I thought... I, I want to contact everybody and, you know, get get as many answers to questions as, as I can. And then I ended up becoming really close with Simon and he showed a real appreciation for my music. And I thought, you know what? If Simon Cowell wants to sign me, I am not going to say no. Who am I to say no? Imagine you went, no, Simon, I'll pass. <laughs> Thank you. That's a pass. We all know him <laughs> as the straight talking judge. What's he like to work with, Lucy? And come on, tell us the truth. Yeah, the real stuff. Come on. I, I could not be more complimentary about right. Simon. I think he is the most, one of the most genuine people that I know. Um, as with any television persona, we all know what is underneath. Um, oh, all yeah. we don't, and that's yeah. the magic of it. Yeah, we do. <laughs> well, I, I actually... I went to Barbados on holiday uh, two weeks ago and he lent me his yacht for the day. No joke, he lent me his Sorry? Yacht. It's his own oh, yacht. Know. It's his own... I can't of course even say it's it. his own yacht. It's his, he wasn't chartered it. No, he owned it wasn't, the yacht. He owned, have the yacht. Have the island, darling. Have oh, the island. Oh, my God. Have it all. Can I borrow your yacht? You can't. I'm using it for most of the summer, but in oh. the winter you can have it. It's all yours. That's Gorgeous. incredible. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm used to, like, canoes and stuff, so, yeah, it's different to me. Were you very mindful when you are on that yacht? Simon Cowell <laughs> owns this. No sun cream, no nothing that can be on this. Genuinely, I got sun cream on the, like, black interior part of it. I had my beach towel just, like, rubbing it away while no one was looking. I'm on yachts all the time. <laughs> sun cream is such a faux pas. Well, we, we just leave, like, fake tan all over Everywhere. the white leather. How me? dare you? <laughs>